How much does it cost? What documents will I need? Do you need to put an employer name or start date in your OPT application? How many weeks to your graduation should you apply? Should you apply online or mail hard copy documents to USCIS? These are the things you need to know before applying for your OPT and that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about in this video. If you're new to this channel, welcome. It's Zubi here and I'm a PhD student here in the US. The videos on this channel are to help ease your transition into the US and also make the best of your stay here. If you're interested in that, please hit the subscribe button below. Thank you very much. First of all, I'm not a legal practitioner. The points I'll be sharing in this video are from my personal experience when I was applying for my OPT after my master's, so you don't make the same mistakes that I did. This is not legal advice. Let's start with the application documents. Now, there are eight things you need. First, money. It costs $410. The same way you're shocked is how I was also shocked when I heard about it for the first time. Like, why do you have to pay to get authorization to work? Wow, that's a lot. Now, I said with this point, so you can start saving for it early. So if you'll be finishing in the next fall or next spring, you can start putting your money together for it. Number two, two passport size colored photos. It must be taken within the last 30 days. I took mine with the international office in my school, so you might want to check with yours if they offer those kind of services. Number three, your complete form I-765. This is the main OBT application where you fill in all your details. You don't need to put in the name of your employer when you're applying, but you need to update it after your OBT has started and you've gotten a job. So this should be within 90 days as that's the time you are allowed to find a job. Number four, the complete form G1145. Now this is optional and it's just for email notification of your OPT application. I'll talk about my timeline later in the video so you'll see when I applied, all the updates I received and when I got my card. Number five, an OPT recommendation I-20 issued by the international student office in your school. You have to submit all the previous copies of the form I-20 that you possess for them to issue it to you. This OPT recommendation letter has your expected start date on it. When I was filling mine, I filled mine a week after I was meant to graduate because I wanted to rest for a full week. Number six, a valid passport. I submitted mine a week to my passport's expiration, but I also attached a proof that I had applied for a new passport. Number seven, latest form I-94, which shows your entry history into the US. Number eight, the copies of all previous EAD cards that you possess if it applies to you. I'll put the links to all the forms in the description below so you can check them out. Another thing that you need to do is to smash the like button. So if these points have brought value to you, please give this video a like. Thank you very much. Now next, we'll talk about the means of application. There are two ways you can apply. Number one, online on the USCIS website. The link will be in the description below. Or number two, through physical mail. I advise you apply online as it's quick and also easy. So third, we're going to talk about the application timeline. The earliest you can apply is 90 days before your graduation. So you can count three months before your expected graduation date and you can start applying. I advise you apply within the first month so you have peace of mind as the workload and graduation requirements increases. So here's my application timeline. I was meant to graduate on April 30th. 90 days before that was February 1st. I applied February 17th. They started producing my card by the 4th of March. The production was completed on the 8th of March and I received my card that same day. Now this is the envelope that it came in. <laughs> I was so excited when I received it that I just ripped I just ripped it open. It took about three weeks from when I applied to when I received it. Procrastination makes so many people to apply late so they don't get to fully enjoy their OPT. So watch this video next so you can see how to always be procrastination so you can apply for your OPT early. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you over there. Bye.